Hello peeps, I'm Olin Joseph and welcome back to my channel. I am super sorry for not being very active towards this YouTube channel. I've just been living my dream life, um, living my manifestation, and it's just, it's done. It's right here right now. And um, now, before I get to the topic of winning the diversity visa lottery green card, I just wanted to mention to you guys that everything that I do, uh, everything that I did to get where I am now is the fact that I believe in myself. I truly have a vast portion of belief system in myself and really trusting that I deserve getting what I want because I've been working on my self-concept. Did I have the the best self-concept when I was 18, now that I'm 20, I'm about to turn 21, happy new year by the way. No, I've really been struggling through that and right now I am creating my new self-belief and dialing down all of the limitations mindset that I had, okay? So this is my experience and how I got through it, people are different and this is how I went through it and got my manifestation because it's here now, okay? So let's start. I already got my notebook and I got my <clears throat> success story that I wrote almost a year ago. In 22 days, it is a year ago. And I'm gonna read that in a second, but first let's, let's rewind what I have been through and the process of winning the lottery green card. So I applied on October 2018. So I'm still 17 and then I applied with my mom's name, okay? Because I'm still a minor. And I'm glad that I can go through all this process with my mom because I'm still 17. I don't know. Mind you, me and my mom have been trying to get a lottery green card in seven years. Uh, I've lived here in the United States, in California, for about two times already, but it was just a fleeting visiting moment. I did go to elementary school, but it's just a fleeting moment. I don't really care about it, but I do care about going back, and I do have feelings that I'm coming back, and I deserve to be back because I feel like I'm just... I'm made to live here. <laughs> Been trying for seven years. And then um, it was my mom's friend who put us into the system, which I'm going to link down below. If you guys want to manifest this and get this lottery green card for you guys who want it, of course, um, I'll put it down below. And I want you guys to try and manifest a living out of this reality, okay? And make your life your choice and just live your best life, okay? So I applied when I was 17, and then I won in May 2019, which now I say it really easily, but honestly, seven months, yeah, October to May, it was seven months of not knowing whether if I'm winning or not. I don't know that, but I say this to my friends, I say this to my mom, I told um, this thing to everyone. I'm not like going out there and tell them, but if the conversation arises, they'd be like, where are you going to college? And I'm like, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be going to college soon because I'm going to be moving out uh, of the country. And they'd be like, where? And I'm like, I want a lottery green card. Um, so I'm probably, um, I, no, I didn't say probably, I am moving to the States. And they're like, oh really? Can I see? Uh, what's, what's the process? And I'm like, well not yet, but I know that I'm winning because I am a winner. I embody myself to be the winner already, okay? No doubts, no, of course there's doubts. I was 17, not knowing anything, I was a kid. But then, I have no choice at all but to just <laughs> freak it. I am going and this is how it is, okay? There's no other way. I am going and I am succeeding towards my dreams and I'm gonna turn that into reality. Had I no law of assumption? No, I did not. 
I knew about a law of attraction from my dear friend. He told me a lot about it, just a fleeting stuff. And he is the embodiment of the manifestation that he put out himself. And so I'm like, okay, shoot, I'm going to, I'm going to do that same thing as well to myself in my reality, which winning the lottery green card for seven months. Okay. Not knowing whether I am going to win or not. Okay. But I'm like, Every single time that I wake up, every single time that I go to sleep, I always, always, always wake up and go to sleep as the person who I am meant to be. Who the vision of me, myself, that I want to create. I embody that. I I did not have to affirm it. Like, I want a lot of green card. I want a lot of green card already. I did that for a little bit, but not mm, to the point where I'm like... So I did not have to affirm it, but I did affirm it a little bit. Um, because I was 17, I did not know about embodying. I was just... I was just trusting myself through the process where I'm just... I already won. So I'm living my best life, listening to the... Two songs that make me feel good, which is Tame Impala. Shout out to Kevin, because of him... I'm right here right now, you know, especially yes, I'm changing. It's just, it, it opens up different amount of vision of myself that I did not even know that it existed. During that seven months, having little to no doubt that I'm going to win and people telling me, that, oh my God, you're crazy. My friends was like, oh my gosh, you're freaking crazy. Like, okay, crazy, like psycho, whatever. And my mom went out and we we search for colleges i know that I, it was like oh this is not meant for me i don't know what major i'm gonna be getting i wanted to get psychology but then again i'm like i just know that this is not my future this is not my story i'm not gonna settle with it mom can you just drop it and she's like i don't want you to be crazy i don't want you to really rely on this outcome and i'm like i am not relying on this outcome i'm already in this outcome and she's like, you're crazy. And I'm like, yeah. Anyways, I know that she meant no harm with that. I know she meant really loving in a loving way that like, I, I need you to be realistic. And that is, I'm going to tell you guys, do not to give a f about what people says. If you have a dream and you really know that you're worth it of getting it and like, let's see if like people told you that, hey, you're not worthy of this. Um, you're <clears throat> not going to get it inside you know that you are worthy of getting it and it's yours already and you're gonna be like i am not going to react to this i'm not gonna give this energy i'm not gonna give this time I'm not gonna stress on it because it's not my reality it's not my story so i'm just gonna drop it and i'm going to get what i want because that's who i am okay seven months one i envision myself winning and be like oh my gosh i won and ah oh, crazy but that didn't happen uh, the minute that I know that I insert the data, looking at it, and it says, congratulations, you are moving to the next step, um, wait for the email from the government, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, no, let's refresh this for about 10 times. I refreshed the page for 10 times, and I'm like, <laughs> I won. Sorry if I'm coughing. I'm like healing through COVID right now. I looked up to my mom, and she's like, did we win? And I'm like, so we won. And she's like, oh my gosh, okay, crying, um, tearing up, happy, whatever. Right, right. Waiting for the um, email was crazy enough because we won at May. Through May through December, we did not receive anything at all besides filling up all the crazy, crazy, crazy data, like <laughs> crazy data, okay? But we're not talking about that. We're talking about how faithful I am during the May to December. Okay. Did not receive any email. Did not receive anything. Inside the confirmation email that, okay, you're eligible. Done. December 2019, we got an email um, telling us that they have planned an interview in March 18th, 2020. And I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever, right? A week later... A week later, it was cancelled. 
I think it was less than a week. I don't know. It was canceled because the coronavirus. We know, Miss Rona. Going around and um, I catched it at the gym. Stupid. But <laughs> we need to get that gain. So that was canceled. Don't know if I'm going to America or not. And then through December to the early of 2021, early 2021, which was a day ago, was 2021. Right now I'm filming. We did not know whether if or not we're going to the U.S. Travel ban was put up. The lawyers here in the United States are really fighting for our justice. The fact that we already won the green card lottery and then um, we don't have the visa already and then Trump put up the travel ban and then we do. It was all crazy, bizarre. It's almost two years, okay? 2019, December to early 2021, guys. It's still recent to me. It's still recent in general. We did not know anything at all. We're just stuck in a limbo, gray area. We don't know which right or wrong and what I was focusing was anything but the goal that I have, which is end state, I am already in California. But then I was spiraling because of that. I'm like, nope, meditate, drop it. Because every time that I, that I think about the circumstances, that I think about the uh, 3D, I'm going to manifest that all over again. Did, had I known that earlier, I would have manifest the outcome faster, probably. I don't know, okay? Because I was not stable. I'm still a kid when I was 17. And I'm like, this is not working in my favor. I'm crying, blah, blah, blah. But then again, I was like, no, snap out of it, meditate, drop it. Um, knowing the fact that I already have what I have, what I got, and I'm stable. I am, I'm, I trust in myself. Up until September 10th, the government call my mom and be like, hey, so, um, we still want to give hope to you guys. If you guys wanted to get interviewed, let's go. Okay, let's do it today. Um, I'm going to give you guys a visa, but it's not a promise that whether or not before or after the visa expires, the travel ban will be lifted or not. But everybody was like, the one, the, most of the people that won the green card had already lost hope and be like, you know, we lost our job, we lost our loved ones, we don't have any money to live and provide for ourselves plane tickets and living in the United States, you know what, we just drop it and whatever. Me and my mom did not have anything but just to do it. We don't know the outcome, but we keep on persisting because circumstances does not matter. Circumst 3D is an old news, okay? It's a manifestation of our states and past thoughts. What's happening right now is what I was thinking about in the past, okay? That's what's happening right now. So in order for me to create new reality, desired reality that I'm in, that means I need to embody myself to be the vision that I want it to be. And then got interviewed in September 10th, 2020, and then my visa expires in March 11th. Okay, 2021. It's a short amount of time. September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months. My visa is in six months, expiring. We did not know. I didn't know that um, whether or not Biden's going to be elected or if Biden, when Biden is elected, will he um, put out the bin or not. We did not know about that. But Biden was elected not even a month. Not even a month. Even though my mom was like, oh my gosh, you know, whatever the heck, it doesn't matter if Biden wins and not. He didn't, he doesn't do what he was supposed to do, which is lift the ban up, PP10014. I still remember that to the T. But not even a month, the ban was lifted and February 28th, 2021. Right away, me and my mom, we already packed up a thousand times, okay? We packed up all stuff, our stuff, and a thousand times. And this time, it's really, we really packed things up. 
and bought the plane ticket with our flights was in March 4th. I was like, I know that the ban is going to be lifted. I know how it is going to be, how my story is going to be. Superhero will win at the end of the day, which is me, okay? I'm not going to be a victim. Being a victim, I'm not a victim. I'm going to get what I want and watch out. You know what I mean? If it's not the end state, it's not done yet, okay? If it's not where you want to be, it's not the end yet. So do not be encouraged. Circumstances does not matter, okay? Be the vision of yourself. Embody the vision of yourself that you wanted to be in. Whether it's in relationship, financially, career-wise, and anything you want to uh, manifest, okay? Be the vision that you want to be in right now as if you already have it. Sorry, my camera just died. Um, I need to upgrade my storage. So I'm going to read this out to you guys. Um, I wrote this in January 23rd, okay? I got this from my cousin and she gave it to me for my birthday, which is in January 17th. And it's, I'm going to read it to you guys. So I'm thankful for the band PP1004 that had helped in before March 11th uh, when my visa and my my mom's inspired it okay thank you for, for the timing of the flight thank you for the price and the plane tickets that are avoidable which is true and, uh, the flights uh safely landed in lax here to here and i legit say here because my mind state it's state is already in california okay um international flight has to be landed in lax Thankful for the place to stay, the quarantine, sleep. Thankful for the jobs that me and my mom got. Um, thankful for the cooperative, positive, helpful, kind, open-minded, patient, loving, aware, family-like, understanding, co-workers, and bosses. It's down to the T of that, okay? Right now, I'm living in one of my bosses' house, which um, my co-workers live there too. And right now, me and my co-worker um, <clears throat> is like... A sibling like legit sibling okay I've never had a sibling before and he lives by his own and he's like a big brother to me okay and my bosses they I've never met anyone so abundant in my entire life because growing up in Indonesia the wealthiest person is just you know having three five, five cars and like having a pool in their house and that's it okay but this is now that I met my bosses they legit have, I don't know, airplanes, like, for, I don't know. And they're the most humble, amazing human beings with huge hearts and um, very family-like towards each other, okay? It's just crazy how they inspire me to, hey, you know, you can be like this. You can be big and be humble at the same time. And I don't know, it's just crazy how I just write, wrote them down. It's happen it happens right now. Anything that I wrote right here already happened, but the underlined hasn't, you know? What is it? It says, thankful that we have our own apartment and garage for our cars. We do not yet. We don't have an apartment yet and a garage for our cars, which um, is still manifesting, okay? It's going to happen. Watch me. But that is what I want to apply to you guys. Your belief state in yourself, trust in yourself, it has to be bigger than what you want. It has to be bigger than the circumstances that plays in this. So, uh, what is um, believing yourself? That That is going to be another story, how I manifested a career right before I went to um, the States in, back in Indonesia. Um, how I manifested everything that I have right now, which is a great stable relationship, great communication style towards someone, and how everything manifested because you change your belief in yourself and you change the way that you see, you you per perceive yourself and the way that you believe in yourself. And that is why it is manifest. It's naturally going to um, manifest through you. And what I study now, um, what I am still learning about now is from Dylan James. I found Dylan James from Kim Valles, okay? So both of them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, link down below. Try to win a lottery green card because you already won. If you desire this, you already won, okay, you guys? If I can do it through all the turbulence that I've um, been through for two years, 
you can too without all the delays right now i think they don't have any delays or travel ban right now and now if people would have come to me and be like nope you can't have this you know what i don't like you or like you know what you're not worthy enough or like um you're not gonna get that job or whatever i don't want to feed into that because i know what i want and i know that i'm worthy enough to get it so i'm not gonna react to that because every time that I react to that, I will manifest that and go spiraling, okay? Just imagine yourself being like, oh my gosh, I am not ugly. I am not ugly and being pressed about that when you already know that you're pretty. So when someone says you're ugly, I know that I'm not ugly. You know, I'm attractive. Attractive as in my, <clears throat> my state of being, my, my energy is so stable and so secure that I'm not going to um, shake when people says anything about me because I don't give a f what other people says. I stay in my prison. I am a balanced human being. I know the for fact that everything is gonna come to me rather than me chasing them because I'm so worthy and I'm changing my self-concept and self-belief every single day. Say so, thank you so much for listening to me and i love you guys so 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 much i'm trying to be consistent towards this channel and i'm so grateful that you guys liking this video and sharing and i just hope that this will help you so much it helped me so much throughout my growing process in this world i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys real soon <laughs>